Hey guys, good morning. It's still super early here on the East Coast and even earlier elsewhere. Um, I just wanted to drop in. I was on my way to work this morning and listening to the radio and heard this um, advertisement for a dental office here in town saying uh, it, it had a testimonial from some, some therapist, some therapist, no, some patient of theirs, um, who was like, um, I'm, I've been terrified of the dentist. I haven't been in years. This dentist was really great and made me feel really comfortable. I almost forgot I was at the dental office. And I was thinking about that from a marketing perspective of how um, I really hope that their ideal client is terrified of the dentist. If not, they may be inviting in a lot more of the kind of clients they don't actually want in their practice. Um, so I think about like when I heard that it didn't land for me because I oddly love going to the dentist. Um, but I thought about my dad who was terrified of the dentist thanks to like some small town dentistry plus being in the Navy. Um, and so if he heard that, he'd hear himself, right? And he'd be like, well, that dental office is really good with people who hate the dentist, so I should go there maybe. Um, whereas somebody who loves going to the dentist and maybe has already established care, um, like myself, is going to be like, oh, whatever. So it's a way to think about when you're, when you're crafting your marketing message, which makes it sound... I mean, it should be intentional, right? But I don't want it to sound too difficult. But if you're, when you're crafting your marketing message, to make sure you're really clear who your ideal clients are. Because if you do a good job with your marketing, which obviously you want to do, you want to make sure that you're actually bringing in the people you do great work with and the people you want to work with. So um, I think about how that can translate for us sometimes in um, marketing to treatment centers. If you don't want people at that level of acuity, it doesn't make sense for you to market to treatment centers, right? Um, so yeah, I was just on my way in this morning and thought about that and thought that that would be a quick little mini lesson around marketing for you guys. All right.